All right, so let's get to our interview segment. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. It's 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 been a, it's a special honor, and and we were talking with this gentleman. Um, of, well, you know, for the listening audience who's going to be hearing this now, in our, in, on our on our last week's show when we were doing a, a, all the news segments and talking about a dip, but but dip, about a bunch of different things, but we have a legend in the building today. Yes, we do. And and the speaker still plugged in. Um, it is plugged in. So bada boom, bada bing. There's an echo. Hey, better. Okay, so I want to do the, the the sway in the morning esque type of intro right here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Two time. Juno Award winning and one time nominee. Right? Yeah, yeah. Two time Much Music Award winner. Mm-hmm. Two time Much Music Video Award winner. Yeah. Or, or oh, nominee. All right? Two time Juno Award winner. Mm-hmm. Two time Much Music Video Award winner. Mm-hmm. Urban Award winner. Jeez. Yeah. And, and 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 some other stuff I forgot, but you know. And listen, and a lot of accolades. Yeah. To be able to forget accolades, that means one, you have accolades. Yeah. <laughs> and two, a lot of motherfucking accolades. Yeah. So with no further ado, we have Infinite in the motherfucking building. Yeah. I'll eat your food real quick, burn up the gear I dressed in. Meanwhile, the motive got them itching questions and guess What would you ask God if he had one question? No yes. doubt, man. And people have been requesting you in the comments too, oh, dog. Right? Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah. Comment gang. Yo, thanks strong. for having me. Yes, thanks, thanks for, for coming through. through. Shout out my my cuz Spanglers, you know what I'm saying? Hey. Don't know. Yeah, yeah, He's yeah. In the building, Spanglers you know? in the building. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Listen, um, it's an honor to have you in here, dog. You know what I'm saying? It's an honor to be here too, though. You know? uh, I've been listening to cause listen, um, we we old cats, right? Right. And I was in Montreal back in the days, mm-hmm. in like the in the in the in the late nineties and shit getting ready to move here. Yeah. And when I first touched down here, one of the people who was burning up the scene in the early two thousands with the music, I was just here infinite. I was watching your videos and I was just like, yo yeah. you know, like it was a level that inspired me to aspire to to to, to, right. to, to get my rap shit popping okay. and get in the okay. industry even more you know what I'm saying okay. so, so I appreciate what you what, what you've done for us you know what I'm saying I love for that yo. um, okay with all the awards and stuff like how did that feel even going up to accept an award I mean the first time we ever won an award was when we was kids you know what I mean like mm-hmm. it, coming in the rap business and I felt like when we did that that was the the breaker for little youths from the from the ghetto from the hood from for, we're from Rexdale yeah so mm-hmm. we never see nobody from Rexdale win a Juno we never see nobody from you know from mm-hmm. different hoods win a Juno so I think we let and made everybody that was upcoming on the underground level feel yeah. like they could do it too yeah, yeah it's kind of yeah. like Obama when Obama was the president now the black kids don't feel like they could be a president now yeah, so yeah. I feel like Factual. that meant a lot to me and yeah. I feel like we inspired a lot of people and that's when everything started coming up even more everybody yeah. started being rappers and feel like they could do it you came through back in those times when I first seen you is with ghetto concept right. Right, right, right. So legendary, ghetto yeah. Concept. Yeah, shout out ghetto concept. Yeah, you know what I'm saying Quadro and Dolo, you don't know. So, tell me about the beginning, beginnings, because I, I, I want to, I'm gonna bounce back and forth. I, I right. usually, I have a chronological order of things. You right, know what I'm right, saying? Right. And and big up to man like uh, Leif. You know what I'm saying? He, oh, Leif. He, you know what I mean? He helped me with my with my bars over here today, as far as the questions. Yeah? You know okay, what I'm saying? Okay. But like off the page mm-hmm. how was it in back in those times before you were considered a solo artist as a group member yeah I mean Ghetto Concept was formed and already started doing their thing Quadro and Dolo they mm-hmm. started you know doing stuff and my brother Kane shout out my brother Kane Kane took Quadro and Dolo and added them to um, the brand Nubians at the time mm. right and the, and they, they they was doing shows too they was going to they was doing shows with Groove a lot and doing their thing yeah. going to the states and you know yeah. coming and then the thing is I knew Quadro from high school mm-hmm. so when we was in high school we would do raps and just rap for our school in front of the school for an assembly yeah. so I mean that was kind of knowing now preparing us for what it is now you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. too mm-hmm. so I mean being in a group too 
it's like you have the support of other members and you get to learn how to work with other people yeah you know what i'm saying but i mean watching the rap game early from that from that at that point it was there wasn't a lot of people yet yeah from the underground it was there was not a lot of people you know what i mean yeah yeah what make you want what made you want to break off solo well you know what happened um at the time i was going through some differences with what my group was going through mm -hmm. you know i was experiencing other stuff you know just lost my brother you know and i said if i ever lose my brother i'm gonna go solo yeah actually before before the solo thing he was alive saying he would put money into me if i did a solo project if i did you know what i mean mm -hmm. i still have my group thing but if i did a solo project squigs would have put money into my solo thing because you know squigs was doing his thing back then and yeah so when he died i was like you know what fuck music period mm -hmm. and i was just mad at the world you know just Understand. yeah just taking it out on everybody yeah. anybody everybody you know making bad decisions but then i was like you know what let me do let me do this solo thing mm -hmm. like i was just like you know let me do this solo thing and then the first thing i did the first thing i put out was um gotta get mine get this ass cold as ever so stash this in humble rivers not forgetting the name infinite will go frames knife rust though they got a lot that's mic in the chain and then that's just set the vehicle mine. for my my career after that yeah yeah and okay and, I'm, and like i said i'm gonna jump around a little bit right yeah so with all the release when you release that tune and then like fast forward you got the the awards and stuff like right, that right, right yeah. being a man that's from the hood and stuff like that your face is out there right 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 were people treating you different and like how were you vibing with people treating you different um if they were you know what it's like one of those you know when the people say hood celebrity mm -hmm. i felt like we were growing up in the hood already so in my hood everybody on my block excuse me my block everybody was everybody was used to seeing me so yeah you know but i was more i felt i felt the love i felt like yo like i felt like a hood celebrity you mm -hmm. know what i mean so growing up around your peers is and going through that situation watching you develop i'm still out in the streets you see one thing that's the wrong thing i did i was mixing my music with the streets yeah you yeah. can't do that you know what i mean are you rappers coming up you guys better know that like you can't mix the streets and the music you're gonna see a different outcome yeah so that's my downfall what i did i mixed my music and the street thing together you can't do that you either one or the other you know yeah yeah you gotta make that choice yeah for sure for sure and then you started popping up on all types of publications and stuff like that like you had a feature in the toronto star yeah rap pages yeah. which rap pages was like big that's back in la the california yeah 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 yeah, right. yeah yeah so okay how was that experience like your first like interviews because yeah i remember watching you back in the days yeah. in videos and different things like that mm -hmm. or like on much music mm -hmm. and you always seem super low key i was yeah yeah, yeah. you know That's what i'm saying vibe. i was so i mean even the first time we did rap city mm -hmm. as a group i remember watching it back for my first time seeing myself on tv and i remember watching back the interview that night because rap city repeats in the middle of the night yes and i just watched my body movement and what i was doing and while the host was interviewing a member i, I you see me in the back looking at the camera man looking around like you know what i'm saying <laughs> size it up <laughs> yeah you know but i had to laugh at that because that's that was real that was like real emotions and real like just experiencing what's going on on set you know what i mean yeah so you know it took a while to build off of that mm -hmm. yeah how old were you at that time when you did that yo that first interview there probably like 18 19 something and you're yeah. heavy in the streets at this time yeah but actually this is before my brother died so okay we were out here but not i wasn't okay. like i was when my brother when i lost my brother you yeah, know what i mean yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah we were out here but not like yeah, that yeah. you know I what i'm saying yes and you're like on on these platforms and shit like that you know yeah, what i'm saying yeah, yeah. hey how y'all doing don't forget to like and leave your comments below and if you like videos like this as well as others on our channel please remember to subscribe to the channel as well as hit the notification bell so you'll know when we're dropping new videos daily